Okay, so the purpose of this video uh, is to highlight reproductions versus authentic pieces. Okay, so um, for example, this piece here is a authentic arcade international dump truck. This piece here is a copycat reproduction from Asia. Um, I see it all the time. How to tell them apart. It's pretty easy in my opinion, okay? But for those of you that are not aware of a copycat from Asia, the casting is substandard, oh, okay? If you look at the casting on a USA uh, original, it's super smooth. How to get to that point, the super smooth casting is to use ultra fine sand, okay? Which is um, expensive, to, a lot more expensive to process versus a non super fine sand, which ultimately leaves lumpy and bumpy spots. If you look at the driver in this reproduction, you can clearly see the lumpy and the bumpy and it was cast cheaply. If you look at the, um, the lift for the dump truck, you can see that it's, it's substandard. There's an old saying, made in the USA is uh, quality. Okay, so if you look at the differences here, the casting, uh, all pieces are super smooth, super quality. This piece, so many times the driver goes missing. Uh, okay, these pieces are over 100 years old. Another way to tell is if you look at the, the driver on this one, you can see the hex nut holding the driver in. Okay, that's a telltale sign because it should be uh, a square nut. Okay, that was the first nut invented was a square nut and a flathead screw. Okay, so... Um, the thing about this piece is that, this reproduction that is, if you look on the inside, these slip through USA Customs, okay? It says Arcade Toy Company, however, it does not say made in the USA. If they're supposed to say I, I can't quite remember the law when it was passed, okay? Because there was a law passed in the United States, Congress passed, because of the, um, it's not just cast iron toys that are being copied. Uh, uh, you know, it could be t-shirts, caps, shoes. Uh, if I remember right, I think Nike tennis shoe had a big, huge complaint with the, um, Asian people copying their product. I say Asia, I'm not going to call out any one single country, okay, but you can let your mind wander with that one. And you probably will come up with the same conclusion uh, with, uh, I, I, I don't want to disrespect anybody, okay, but it is a big problem. Um, Congress passed a law maybe six, seven years ago that the country of origin needs to be stamped on anything enter, entering the USA. Okay, this one says Arcade Toy Com Manufacturing Toy Company, but it does not say made in the USA. All arcade toys will say uh, arcade... 
a, a different play on words, but it, they will say uh, in most cases, all cases actually, arcade toy company, USA, or made in the USA, or arcade USA. Um, the basic overall idea for uh, to look at is uh, quality. Uh, if you look at this one, I mean, it's just terrible uh, compared to the original. Um, so many times I see, it just not even a few weeks ago on Facebook Marketplace, uh, I was undecided if it was a male or female that posted. Uh, I belong to several antique... I can't remember, but... 